Mm hmm That's all right. What? A watermelon. It'll be fine, just buy more Vaseline. But I've got to go, Luca's, I don't actually, I don't actually know what he's doing. He's, yeah, okay, bye. Luca, what are you doing? I'm making ice cream. Uh, it's not really how it works. Are you excited? You just put an ice cube in a pot of cream, Luca. That's not ice cream. You realize you're just eating creamy ice cubes, yeah? In fact, that's not even cream, that's creme fraiche. Okay, I'm gonna take this away now. Right, let's have some actual breakfast now, yeah? What would you like? Ice cream. Okay, we've established that, but you're not having ice cream for breakfast, so what else would you like? And then there is... That's the brand of ice cream, mate. haagen Still ice cream. Miss Whippy? Luca, what is your obsession with ice cream? You can't just eat nothing but ice cream for a whole day. Welcome to another video and in case you are literate or I don't know, you clicked the thumbnail with your eyes closed today, I'll be eating nothing but ice cream for the next 24 hours. Jeez Louise, now I've done these 24 hour challenges before. Today I'm going to eat nothing but pizza, nothing but McDonald's, nothing but donuts for 24 hours. They've kind of become my trademark, but I feel like I'm going to put it out there and say this could be the worst one, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be, like I think it's going to suck because, I mean don't get me wrong, ice cream is nice, but it's nice after a meal, you know, like as a dessert, whereas eating it and nothing else, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be horrendous. But I've said I'm gonna do it, so might as well friggin' do it, right? I'm a man of my word. Um, it's currently 10 past eight in the morning. Sick, I've got a thing of Ben & Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie. What I'll do is after I'm done with the meals, I'll put the calories and macros on the screen. Probs there, possibly there, possibly even here, who knows? Um, Protein wise, shouldn't be too bad because like ice cream is dairy, right? So it has protein. I find in the past, like with the donut one particularly, I was concerned about the protein intake. Shouldn't be too much of an issue today. Plus you can get like higher protein ice creams. So that should tick that box. And yeah, as far as the rules go, I mean, the rules are pretty self-explanatory. I'll be eating nothing but ice cream for the rest of the day. Like I'll have water as a drink, but other than that, that's it. Just ice cream that I buy from ice cream selling retailers. So yeah, breakfast, chocolate fudge brownie. I mean, this is probably, I'm not a massive ice cream fan, to be honest, this is probably my favorite ice cream variation. I've had it out of the freezer for a while because my teeth are quite sensitive, which is another excellent reason for doing this video. Right? My teeth are sensitive, so why not eat some freezing cold stuff all day? So it's kind of like melted a bit, but I guess that'll make it easy to eat. Um, breakfast, lovely, healthy start to the day. Let's, pretty good, make it happen. <laughs> percent of it was like remarkably easy and I think my body just kind of caught up and was like why is your cereal so cold and got so much sugar in and then from that point on it was downhill um calories and macros are but there that's just a tub of Ben and Jerry's um top of my head I think it's like a thousand cows uh protein is actually a reasonable amount also like something stupid like 120 grams of sugar I think sugar today is going to be an issue in that I'm going to be consuming a stupid amount of it um yeah, probably gonna suck. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I just ate a tub of Ben and Jerry's for breakfast, so if you haven't liked the video yet, can you please go and like it now? Subscribe as well, um, yeah, and then I'll go and lie down for a bit, and when I'm a bit more coherent, I'll um, see you in a sec. Update, feeling pretty much fine now. It's been like an hour since the ice cream, done some work. Um, yeah, I'm feeling basically normal. Like, to be honest, it's more the time that was the issue. Like, if I'd had the ice cream in the evening, 
I wouldn't even register it, but the fact that it was so early in the morning just isn't the best combination. But it's done now, I'm feeling okay. I need to go to the gym, I've got to train, I've got to do deadlifts today, which is probably not the best thing to do following a tub of ice cream, but it's happening. So it's a good job that I'm wearing these sick leggings, right? Anyway, outside the gym, like I said, I'm gonna be doing deadlifts today. The plan is to work up to a top set of somewhere in the region of one to three reps, depending on how I'm feeling. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not holding out any great expectations because I just ate friggin' loads of ice cream and I feel a little bit sick, but who knows? Maybe the sugar will have me feeling strong as frig. Only one way to find out. Let's get in there and do some deadlifts. Okay, um, so that was 265 on the bar, but the friggin' two and a half came off, so I've got to check the footage and see at what point they come off to see if I can count that. Like, I felt good, I felt like I had it, I probably had more there, so uh, provisionally I'm gonna take it. Um, but yeah, I'll do a back off set now, then some hamstrings, but that's pretty boring, so I'll catch up when I'm done. Finished, and I felt remarkably good, like that was weird, I thought I was gonna feel terrible. The first couple of warm-up sets with deadlifts, I felt bad, but that kind of subsided, then I started feeling good. Um, I hit the, I mean, the 265, I'm gonna take it, I watched it back, the two and a halfs came off like halfway up, so technically I didn't get it, but it moved really quick, it felt pretty good, like I definitely had more there, so I'm gonna give myself 265, which is good, because that's the most I've lifted since switching from powerlifting to bodybuilding at the end of last year, so it's like a bodybuilding PR technique, which is pretty sick, right? And the rest of the session, rest of the session was good. Um, and now I'm gonna head home. I feel like a nice savory snack, so let's pick something up on the way. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order, please? You can. Um, what McFlurry options do you have? Please? Okay, our standard ones that we have all the time are Dairy Milk, Crunchy, and Oreo. Uh -huh. And then our promotional one at the moment, we can have Galaxy Chocolate or Galaxy with Caramel. Can I please get one Galaxy with Caramel, then one Crunchy one, please? And one Crunchy. Anything else for Just you, my that, lovely? thank you. Pretty sick, right? So that is a crunchy McFlurry, and that is a caramel, dairy milk, caramel, something. I don't know, you just saw me order it, you probably know it. Yeah, those two McFlurries. I've never wanted to order a Big Mac more in my life. Like, I literally had to fight back the urge to do it. I want something savory so bad. I found this with a donut, the, the 24 hours of donuts. I wanted to eat savory stuff so bad. I was craving it like to a crazy amount, and that was the case, or is the case right now, but. I'm gonna stay with the plan, guys. Nothing but ice cream, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go for the crunchy one first because crunchy, C, is earlier in the alphabet than D for dairy milk caramel. So, yeah, let's just stop pro procrastinating and eat some ice cream. Good. Quite crunchy. In keeping with the name. Accurate description. Ah, oh, really cold. The temperature is definitely an issue today. My God, this is obliterating my teeth. It is good to be here. I don't feel like eating it at all, but it is, I'm not gonna lie, it is quite nice. Oh! Okay, that's a crunchy um, yum. Oh, it's so cold. I'm now moving on to the dairy milk caramel one. The caramel on this is sick, in a good way. Mm -mm. I feel like it should be dispersed though. Do you find that like in the McFlurry, like you eat the top and then you've just got like 60 to 70 percent of the ice cream. It's just ice cream. Like get it in the lads. Get some kind of mixing device. You know, I've broken the back of it now. I'm approaching like the purely ice cream stage. To be honest, this is like ridiculously easy to eat. It's just so cold. If it was warm, if it was like, rather than ice cream, like a room temperature cream, 
I'll be able to drink these in like five seconds. Ah! Uh, why are you so cold? And we're done. Two McFlurries. Um, calories and macros for which I'll display for you around about there. <whistles> I haven't worked them out yet. I'm going to guess like, I don't know, maybe like 400, 500 cows each maybe. I don't know. So maybe around 1,000 cows. I mean, you know, because you're looking at the numbers right there. Um, yeah, that was, like I said, apart from the temperature, that was very easy to eat, which backs up my theory from this morning that... Had I eaten that ice cream like later in the day, it would have been pretty comfortable. I mean, so far, I'm finding that although it sucks, like not being able to eat savory food, ice cream is alarmingly easy to eat, like calorie wise. If you were, if you didn't care about dying from eating too much sugar and you were bulking, like it would be so easy to get calories from ice cream. You could just melt it and drink it, like it's super easy. Like some of the easiest calories I've had. Anyway, um, I need to go home. I feel like a bit of a scat. Whoa. That was my name's cat. I feel like a bit of a hobo, so um, I'll catch you back at my house. Update, uh, I'm hungry. Like, really, really hungry. I really want some, like, pizza or, I don't know, or chips or, like, meat. Um, so, accordingly, we've come to Massimo's Italian ice cream place. Because I'm doing this stupid ice cream video, so I have no choice. This sucks. Um, right, let's go in there. It's like an authentic Italian place, so it should be a good... Gelato. Uh, gelato should be a good variation. Let's um, see what's cracking. Game on, I've got some more ice cream. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, I don't want this, but like, yeah, it's it's the really ice, cream. ice cream. It is really good, but like, it's, it's a waste because I don't, yeah, oh, I'm not feeling ice cream. I got, it looks pretty pathetic now because it's melted. Like, ice cream is not very good for videos because within five seconds it's like mostly gone, but that is three scoops. It is milk chocolate, that is banana, and that is hazelnut. It says, mate, it's really windy. Got yeah, staying okay. close. Um, and then that's a cone, and that's a wafer. Luca boy, what did you get, Luca? Yeah. Yogurt, that's a lie, it's ice cream. And then says, got, what did you get? Coconut. <whistles> it's disgusting, it says. Okay, uh, I'll eat this, and then I'll probably see you somewhere up there, I guess. Hi guys, um, some time has elapsed since we last spoke. I've had a shower, I've done some work, but the good news is I'm feeling a lot more positive about the situation. Um, although I'm still very hungry and admittedly I don't feel like eating ice cream, it's okay, we're gonna make it. Um, I wanna end the video with something sick, like a cool, incredible, epic creation. You with me, Says? Can I get some heat on this bitch? Thanks, not, not calling you a bitch, I'm calling the situation a bitch. That was a pretty sweet high five to be fair. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go somewhere, I'm gonna get some stuff, we're gonna make something cool. I will see you over there. And the location of choice is Sainsbury's. It's fairly late, so it's fairly empty. I'm in the freezer aisle, which is very appropriate. Let's get some things. <laughs> and we're back where the day started. How fitting, right? Now, I know what you're thinking. Matt, <coughs> you promised us an epic dessert. What the hell are you doing? Well, guys, trust me, yeah? Ta-da! Um, admittedly, it looks like, I don't know, gone into an ice cream parlor and be served, been served by like a blindfolded horse, but I reckon it will be sick, taste-wise. Um, I'm gonna call this Matty's Quadruple Penetration. Um, it is comprised of Ben & Jerry's Half Baked, which I've never tried before. I hear it's good. It's chocolate and vanilla, chocolate brownies, chocolate chunks, chocolate chip cookies all good things, and then haagen a bit more classy, a bit more upmarket, let's mix it up, vanilla, I thought I'd kind of, it would level it out, you know, keep it um, not too extreme, they're just four flakes, um, I mean, I've eaten a lot of ice cream today, so I can't promise I'm going to finish this, but I'll do my best, wish me luck. Okay, uh, I'm halfway in to my 
um, quadruple penetration. So I've been like double penetrated. Um, I mean, <clears throat> I'm not feeling hopeful because I feel slightly sick. Um, yeah. It's a really surreal feeling, right? I feel, if I imagine food, if I imagine like savory food like pizza and stuff, I feel hungry. I feel like I could eat loads of that. When I imagine this, I feel like sick, like I don't want to eat anymore, like I couldn't eat anymore, you know? It's like a really strange, almost like, you know when you're hungover and like you feel hungry but you feel sick at the same time? I'm kind of experiencing that. Um, but I'm gonna push on and try and make some, try and make some inroads to the second part of the dessert. I'm done. <sighs> um, I could eat more, but like, I don't want to. So this is like, you know, it's not, this isn't a food challenge as such. I'm not trying to get loads of calories in, so I don't want to like kill myself. Like I don't feel that bad. I could probably eat more. I just feel sick and it's just, it's just like I'm finding it annoying because like I want to eat food. And my body's like, what are you doing? Stop eating this friggin' creamy, sweet crap. But um, yeah, um, numbers wise. So I've done the Ben and Jerry's, I've done I guess like a third, a third or so of the haagen and then four flakes, which is, um, numbers are there. Um, oh man, and also it's just cold, like, it's just so uncomfortable eating it. Like I found that when I ate those last two flakes, because I'd eaten so much ice cream, my mouth was like numb, so I couldn't even taste the flakes. I just, there was like no taste. It was just like eating like friggin', I don't know, sticks or something. Okay, um, I'm gonna go and lie down for a bit. <coughs> uh, maybe like cry a little, and then um, I'll see you in a bit. So. Sweet angle on the end here. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, why are you still filming on there? <laughs> Creeper! Um, I mean, I'm not going to be like, uh, because I don't feel that bad, to be honest. I feel pretty much okay. I'm more just frustrated. Like, I really want to eat some savoury food. Um, so, yeah, any thoughts on the experience? Well, it's caused earache, hasn't it? <laughs> right. Why earache? Sayers is the least sympathetic person in the world, yeah? <laughs> like if I get a cold or allergic, like, no, she gets annoyed this. Your at this sound. Idea. She's like, oh, that sound is so annoying of you sniffing. I'm like, <laughs> I'm the one in the discomfort here. Like, <laughs> Okay, but this is all self-inflicted. Yeah, that is true. That yeah. is true. No but it's like peer you. pressure. Peer pressure, mate. Nobody's pressured you to do Yes, that. they have. My peers have. That's what it's called, peer pressure. Um, before I forget, oh, let's give you a sweet physique shot. This is the staple of this video. The post eating crap physique shot. Yeah. I'm not, I'm promising you this is relaxed. I'm not pushing my stomach out fully relaxed. How are we looking? Just like normal. That's not, why do you always say it? That's not normal. <laughs> my stomach like has not looked like that. Yeah, it does. You just suck it in for Instagram shots. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> I'll just salvage it ready if I get here. Still, still got it, babes. Okay, um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't done the official calculation for the numbers. I reckon it's somewhere in the region of like four to four and a half K. I'll put them on the screen for you now so you can see them. Because you're a weird little stat perverts. Um, I thought this would be the worst one. I'm going to say it wasn't. Uh, you're way worse with the donut one, I'm sure. Yeah, donuts, that was definitely the worst one. That sucked because it had the bad bad parts of this and that it was just all sweet but it was worse because it was like more like there was I forget the calories but I ate more than the calories today I'm sure and to be honest ice cream is very easy to eat like what I just had there was like what two 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 and a half I don't know a good amount of calories and it wasn't that bad to eat so like yeah donuts were definitely harder but yeah I'm gonna uh, wind up there guys because I want to just go to bed and then wake up so I can go and eat some savory food I might just like set my alarm for like 3 a.m. and just go to What's open at 3 a.m.? Kitchen. <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> well, that would be a lot less inconvenient. No, mate. That's rubbish. I want to break my ice cream, my non, what's the opposite to a fast? A binge. binge. I want to break my ice cream binge with something sick, mate. Like a, oh, full English. Let's go back to the airport cafe. You in?
You're just talking rubbish. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, yeah. This, I mean, I feel like this doesn't need to be documented. I could probably stop and then have this conversation. Yes, I'm done. It's over. It's finished. My summary is eating ice cream for a whole day sucks because you don't get to eat any savoury food, but it's not that bad. But it is that bad for your health. Don't do it because you, if you do it loads, you'll die. Um, yes, so I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said at the start, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow.